What's up, my beautiful people? It's your boy, Messi, getting it done. Welcome back to the channel, man. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. On this channel, we talk about all things credit and real estate and finance to help you and your family level up. So if you're new, please just hit up subscribing, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm, and share this video with somebody that may need it. So, my beautiful people, um, I come to you with a question from... Porter House seven seven two six zero. Porter House seven two six zero says, "Excellent information again, Mister. Getting her done. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Uh, could you possibly do one uh, on per on a personal line of credit, not credit cards, and some good routes on how to secure those? Thanks, bro. So, Porter House, Porter House." That's actually a phenomenal question, man, because a lot of us are talking about credit cards, but we're not talking about personal lines of credit or business lines of credit, and those are just as powerful. Um, so we're going to talk about personal lines of credit on this one, uh, and then I'll make a video on business lines of credit because those are, mm, those are, those are crazy, right? Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to talk about personal lines of credit right so basically i'm um, gonna give you some context right so a personal line of credit is similar to like a home equity line of credit a heloc right h-e-l-o-c right where you go to the bank you apply for the uh personal line of credit right and that personal line of credit is going to be predicated on a couple of things it's going to be predicated upon your credit score uh your relationship with the bank right if you had any other personal lines of credit or you know what your credit card limit looks like right so they're going to look at all these factors and then they're going to determine how much they're going to extend to you on a personal line of credit right so with the personal line of credit it's sort of like a line right a credit line right that you can draw from okay so for example you go to the bank you say hey i want to open up a personal line of credit they're like okay cool how much are you thinking if you didn't have anything in mind you can just say hey i'm just looking to see what what what, what can i get approved uh for based on you know where my credit's at or you know how my profile looks or blah 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 so now they run your credit and they're like all right cool we're gonna give you ten thousand and you're like all right bet so they give you a ten thousand dollar line right it's a line of credit that you can tap into right and you can cash these checks right and transfer money from your line of credit directly into your checking account okay so hey i need a thousand dollars write yourself a thousand dollar check you deposit it into your checking account and boom you know that money gets transferred from the line of credit and it gets deposited into your checking account and now you have that as access uh excuse me now you have that cash and it's access to you right and you have access to it so you know, you, you're simply transferring money from the line of credit that you have into your checking account so you can tap into it and, and use it however you see fit, whether you're making moves, investing, etc. Okay? So the beautiful thing about a line of credit, and I'll, I'll get to my board here in a second, but the beautiful thing about a, a, a line of credit, a personal line of credit, is that when you use it, you pay it back, you get it again. Okay? And then you get get a low APR. Well, let me, you know what? Come on. I'm, I'm giving y'all, I'm giving y'all a little, I'm giving all my board away. Okay. So hopefully y'all can see this. We about to, we about to talk about, um, we're going to talk about, uh, you know, credit card versus a line of credit, right? We're going to talk about credit cards. We're going to talk about lines of credit. And we're going to talk about like also like a loan. Okay. So to give y'all some context, right? So a credit card, so that way you got to understand the difference between the differences between the three so a credit card right is revolving right so with that limit you have a five thousand dollar limit you use it you pay it back you get access you get access to it right back right whatever it is that you paid off right you pay interest on the debt carried over each month so if you carry over 300 500 a thousand dollars if you carry that balance over every month you're going to pay interest on that on that balance right and then credit cards usually come with a high uh, apr annual percentage rate typically between 17 percent and 29 percent so depending on which credit card which institution how your credit looks like you know for the most part those are the general um you know interest rates when it comes to credit cards right so that's considered high high apr um, and that's why you, if you carry over a zero balance, you will not pay this extremely predatory, in my opinion, uh, interest 
on on the debt that you carry over right so that's credit cards right then we have lines of credit so a line of credit is revolving right similar to a credit card you have a ten thousand dollar limit uh you know you draw from that you know you use a thousand two thousand three thousand boom you pay that back you have access to that again right so that's revolving you pay interest only on the amount used right so this is this is a gem with with the line of credit so let's say you got a ten thousand dollar line but you only need to use three thousand so you use three thousand of that ten thousand personal line of credit and you only pay interest on the three thousand that you use you don't pay interest on the entire ten thousand right so that's the beautiful thing about a line of credit and then it also comes with a low apr and when i say low apr you know that's also you know contingent and predicated upon your credit score right but it's 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 a lot lower than this you know what i'm saying even if you have challenged credit so you know low apr um you know usually comes with a with a line of credit okay and then let's talk about a loan so a loan is not revolving so it's not the same as a personal line of credit or a credit card right because when you when they give you a loan let's say they give you a five thousand dollar personal loan right once you use that five thousand and you start paying it back you don't get access to it right uh, again right you pay down the balance right so you know what i mean it's it's, it's it's not revolving right and then you pay interest on the total amount of the loan so if you got a personal loan for five thousand you're going to pay interest on the entire five thousand right versus over here where you only pay interest on the amount that you use okay so on a per on a personal loan you're going to pay interest on the total amount and then the aprs vary on personal loans and you know when it comes to personal loans depending on how you get them whether you go to your you know to your bank that you have a relationship with whether you go to you know a pawn shop or a payday the interest can vary right so that's why I put, um, you know, APRs vary because that, again, is going to be predicated upon your credit report and then also, um, you know, where you go to obtain that personal loan. So there it is, my man. Um, you know, personal lines of credit are powerful if you have a strategy. OK, it's a line that you get right approved for 10,000 15,000 20,000 I mean you can get personal lines of credit up to 100,000 right. And that's uncollateralized. That's unsecured. You know what I'm saying? And then you draw on that right you write yourself checks you deposit them right they're going to your checking account and then you make moves you pay it back you get access to it again now personal lines of credit usually have a term you know associated with them depending on whatever it is that you negotiate five years ten years two years three years whatever it varies depending on you know what that financial institution what their criteria is so you'll have access to that personal line of credit for x amount of time and you can draw pay back draw pay back draw pay back you can request uh you know increase on that line you know what I'm saying depending on how, how you're paying it back if you're paying it back in full if you're on time with your payments etc so you know my lines of credit are powerful business lines of credit are even more powerful right so I'll, I'll definitely make a video on that but I hope that answers the question my man you can go to any bank I prefer going to a bank that you have a relationship with whether that be you know Chase Bank of America Navy Federal whatever right and then you know if you have products already with them a uh, personal loan auto loan credit card that's even better because the more products you have with that specific institution you know the more they're going to be willing to give you more products right and a personal line of credit Credit is considered a credit product right so I, I recommend going to an establishment that you already have a relationship with to go and ask them for that personal line of credit because most likely you'll get you'll get approved for it right because you already have an existing relationship with them and then you can use that for whatever it is you're trying to do you know real estate you know investing you know trucking you know crypt whatever 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 you want to do you can use that credit uh, personal line of credit for and there it is my man i hope that answered your question um you know personal lines of credit in my opinion are powerful i've used a couple of, um you know along my journey but i've transitioned over to just leveraging and killing the game with business lines of credit so i hope that helped you my man i hope that was informational i hope that was impactful if that helped you share it with somebody else that also has questions about business um, excuse me personal lines of credit right and help them get this information so that way they can provide some you know have some clarity now so uh if you like this video please smash the like button for the youtube algorithm comment below if you have any questions or if you want me to make a video addressing your question i got you i'm out here i'm back you know what i'm saying i'm making videos um you know and, and addressing the the comments that i had prior to me going on vacation so my people
tap in with your boy man if any of you guys need to tap in with me hop on a call whatever go to creditforstarters.com book a call with me ask me whatever you need um let me help you get to the next level man so my beautiful people remember man abundance is your birthright man let's smash all of our goals in 2023 let's not make excuses because like i tell my kids you cannot deposit excuses in your bank account man i hope everyone's well hope everyone's healthy and i'll catch you in the next video peace